At this village, there's lots of music. Food. The nuts are roasted in water, cinnamon, sugar, and vanilla. We have almonds, pecans, and cashews. This is a cookie dough cheese ball, and you put it on animal crackers. So it's a dip for animal crackers. And more than 135 vendors. This is cute. They're selling everything from clothes, jewelry, outdoor items, and a few unique gifts. This is some of our flying fish, which are really air swimmers. The remote controlled five foot fish that can go anywhere you want them to with the remote. We've got flitter fairies. They come with a magic wand, and little girls love them, and we have fairy houses, too, to put them in. Tell us what you guys are selling here. Himalayan salt. Uh, the form that we have it in here is the lamps. They purify the air, so it helps people with their allergies and asthma sort of thing. For visitors to Celebration Village, it's a chance to start on those Christmas shopping lists and also get stocked up on fall and winter outfits. What have you bought uh, so far? Um, way too much stuff and my husband's watching so probably shouldn't say, but some shoes, a couple dresses, gonna look fabulous. I bought a shirt and a vest. I absolutely love all of the Christmas decor. I'm a Christmas nut, so I'm really, it gets me in the spirit. I'm really looking forward to the holidays now. This village even has a mayor. My official duty is just to be out here greeting and meeting and um, telling everybody how wonderful Sanctuary is and also, if uh, we can do an expansion and raise some money, we won't have to turn away over 300 people like we did last year. That is the main goal of Celebration Village. It is the largest fundraiser for Sanctuary Hospice House, which provides vital care for families whose loved ones are in the final stages of their lives and can't stay in their homes. More than 15,000 people expected to visit this village. It runs through Saturday. In Tupelo, I'm Allie Martin, WCBI News.